Daniel Jones and Darren Waller are heating up in Giants OTAs. Go ahead, leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button, and join the channel. We're going to have everything Giants here on the channel. So if you love Giants football, you're going to want to stay tuned and join the channel and stick around. But in Giants Day 3 of OTAs, the main headline is Daniel Jones and Darren Waller are building up that connection, building up their rapport, and Daniel Jones and others looked it pretty good today in 7-on-7s seven seven for the New York Giants. Now, I don't want to go up here and, you know, jump the gun too much. I'm excited, and I love to see things like this early in the offseason. But again, it's OTAs. We're not in pads. It's not training camp. And, you know, we're going to take a lot of these things with a grain of salt. Now, when training camp comes around, that is when things get real. We all know that. But to hear that Daniel Jones and Darren Waller are looking good, you know, they're firing on all cylinders. And today was really the day where they looked at like an elite core together. I love to see it. I love to see it. Uh, reports are saying that Daniel Jones was literally airing that ball out today and making big plays. Darius Slate was making big plays. And when Darius Slate was brought back, the Giants resigned Darius Slayton. I loved it because... Darius Slayton is the real guy that has the actual connection with Daniel Jones ever since 2019. He's also Daniel Jones's, you know, Twitter bodyguard when guys are trying to go and throw shots at Daniel Jones on Twitter. But in all serious, um, seriousness of things, you love to hear what you're seeing, man. I love to hear this, and I just think that this is just a foreshadow, man. These guys are just now, you know, getting, you know, a connection together. They are new to each other. But to see that they are already out the gate firing on all cylinders, I love to see it. I love to hear it. Darren Waller is going to be huge for the New York Giants this season. And I know people like to say that we don't have that outside receiving threat. We still don't have that bona fide wide receiver one. We have a weapon one in Darren Waller. And he is showing that out the gate already in Giants OTA. So though it's not training camp, these guys aren't in pads yet. It's really non-contact. Can't do much. But I, either way, I love to hear that. I just love to hear what you know what we're hearing right now coming out of Giants OTAs. Another huge thing is about Giants rookie John Michael Schmitz, who just signed with the Giants. So the whole 2023 NFL draft class for the New York Giants is all signed to their roster. They're all New York Giants. Welcome to the family, everybody. But John Michael Schmitz, one main topic going into, you know, you know, after we drafted him was will he keep the same snap technique? And after today, Daniel Jones went out and confirmed it that yes. John Michael Schmitz is going to be able to keep doing the same technique he used all of his years in college. And I just think that is a pro elite dub move by Daniel Jones. I got to clap it up for him. I got to clap it up for that. But he is making his rookie center and John Michael Schmitz comfortable right out the gate. He doesn't have to worry about changing up his snap technique that he's been using over the past five, six years in college. He gets to keep doing that. He doesn't have to worry about changing up uh, his technique. And he's going to have an easy transition in that, you know, specific field of his game. Now, it's something that Daniel Jones got to learn to get used to. But Daniel Jones is a pro. You know, Daniel Jones is, you know, our franchise quarterback. Daniel Jones is going to work hard to make sure that that snap and everything is right before September. So I just think that is, you know, another big takeaway. I don't hear a lot of people talking about it. But I think that is something right there that I just love to hear. I think that automatically makes John Michael Schmitz comfortable. It's going to make him say, hey. This guy is, you know, trying to ease me in. He's letting me keep the same technique. Let me go out there and dominate and block for this guy, man. So I just think that right there, you love to see it. And that's why I can always just ride with Daniel Jones because he's not just a, you know, a player on the field, but even off the field, he's a great guy. He's a great leader. That's showing leadership right there. And I think that automatically makes John Michael Schmitz a rookie center. He's just getting here. It's the NFL. He's starting to learn things. That right there is something he doesn't have to worry about learning uh, new about in the NFL. So I just think that's great. I love to hear that. The Giants, the weapons looked great. And, you know, it's early. It's not training camp. We got a long way to go until then. You don't win a job or lose a job in OTAs. You don't have a thousand yard season in OTAs, right? But I just think that is great to hear. I love to hear that these guys are firing on all cylinders. I would really much listen and hear this then we hear that Daniel Jones isn't looking great. Darren Waller is dropping passes or something like that. I love what I'm hearing. I freaking love it, and I'm pumped, and I am excited, if you cannot tell, for this season for the New York Giants. And, you know, Daniel Jones was airing the ball out. He was throwing deep balls, and he was connecting on all cylinders with these receivers and these tight ends. I just love to hear it. 
I love to hear it. So, um, training camp is when it really gets started. You really get to see what's going on because it's contact. You can mush a guy at the line. You can press a guy on the line. You can really get into guys, and it really starts getting more and more, you know, contact. But we got a long way to go until then. We're not there just yet. Can't wait till we are there. But as of right now, with the news we're getting and what we're hearing out of Giants OTAs, I love it. I love to hear it. And I just want to keep on going and keep on, you know, just hearing these great things out of OTAs. But that is really the uh, recap. Um, leave anything else down below. Any of your takeaways from Giants, you know, day three OTAs or what you've been seeing from the Giants OTAs thus far. Let us know down below in the comment section and let's talk about it. But uh, if you did enjoy it, leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, it's been your boy Jay Dimes. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we are out. Go Giants. Peace. Thanks for watching.